Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope those are watching right now this tutorial. You know this tutorial is about functional group and this is the fifth lecture of the organic chemistry series. So personally I, I believe that this is the basement of organic chemistry and then after we need to know how to name the compounds and we have already discussed that what is homologous series i have written it and my previous video i mean the fourth tutorial it was about homologous series and in this video i'll be focusing on to explain the functional group so students of english version o level a level whoever is watching this tutorial please you know that we need to know that what is the name and what is the nature characteristics and properties of anything based on two things number one the functional group and the number of carbons in the organic compounds so name itself explain the definition so this is called the functional group so group means so the group of atoms or radicals or anything that summations that is actually controlling the properties of organic compounds so the functional group is that group which is actually functioning so that is controlling the properties of chemical reactions like that so i hope you know the name of this i have written something and of course you know the name of carbon is written there that the based on number of carbon what we say what it tell and how we name the compounds like if there is number one carbon single carbon meth eth prop pent hex hept i mean built pent hex hept oct non deck on deck do deck so we will look after two things first the number of carbons and the functional group and then we will try to name it the naming of organic compounds is coming after i mean that will be the sixth videos of this organic chemistry lecture series so now if you look at alkene what is the functional group we know that alkene is about carbon carbon single bond carbon carbon single bond okay so we we know that in that cases we know that carbon is actually it has four valence electron so you always look after that the four valence electron each time so it will have three other corresponding bond to be bind with other relevant element so suppose if we say that this is ch4 that is four hydrogen is outside of carbon that is the first member of alkene hmm? and that is methane then after ethane then after propane so ch4 if we write c2h6 that is ethane so what we say after we say n after this is n methane ethane propane butane pentane hexane n now you see alkene that is carbon carbon double bond so if there is carbon carbon double bond we know that is alkene and the other part is corresponding with another element so we know that at least to be the carbon carbon double bond there should be at least two carbon so we say that there is two carbon so in other side there will be two hydrogen and this is ethene and this is the first member of alkene group there is no methane because it is required at least have two electrons to be the double bond. So C2H4 is, is ethene and after that we say pronounce what? In. We say in. So we say ethene, propene, butene, pentene, hexene, like that. Alkyne, we know triple bond. So in this case, carbon, carbon, triple bond. So there is single carbon, I mean single bond is left. So carbon, carbon, triple bond. So we say that H, C, triple bond, CH, this is what? Ethyne. And again, 
Ethane is the first member of alkyne group. Alkyne group, and you know that this is C2H2. And after the name, we say or we pronounce ein. Ein. We say ein. So alkyne, alkene, alkane depends on what? Depends on the functional group. And what is the functional group from this? The functional group is the number of bond. If we say that there is single bond, alkane. Number of carbon depends. Double bond, alkene. Triple bond, alkyne. And then after, alcohol. So in this case, we know that OH is the functional group. So, R, OH, and this is R. What is R? R is actually alkyl. What is alkyl? A single hydrogen less than alkyl produce the corresponding alkyl. So if we say that CH3 that is CH3 that is one hydrogen less than methane then it would be methyl and if it is like that CH2 CH3 that is ethyl. So alkyl group is denoted by R. So alcohol is CH3OH or CH3, CH2OH, so number of carbon varies, so if we say that that is ROH, CH3 bond, O, there's two other electrons, sorry, two lone pair electrons, so this is Lewis structure, so if we say that Lewis structure, it would be like this, so number of carbon is there, so this is methanol, single carbon alcohol so methanol is the first member of alcohol group if, if you increase the number of carbon like ethanol propanol butanol pentanol hexanol depends on the number of carbon so if you say that um, so after that after that what is say all methanol propanol depends on what number of carbon hello okay it means that it means that after alkyl group there is halogen and if you see the Lewis structure it has three lone pair electrons outside so if we write that CH3 Cl or if we say CH3 CH2 I both we can say because chlorine, iodine, bromine, these are halogens. And you see the number of electrons that is resting outside. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Similarly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you can say this is methyl chloride or we can say this is chloromethane. Chloromethane, that is why this is haloalkane. That should be single bond, but there is a halogen group attached with the carbon. So this chloromethane, iodoethane, or we can say ethyl iodide. Ethyl iodide. In this case, amine, we say that in this case, that is RNH2. So amino group is attached with alkyl group so wherever we see that NH2 is attached I mean suppose we wrote CH3 bond NH2 so there will be a lone pair electrons over there so that is methyl amine or amino methane even we say that CH3 CH2 N H2. Again, you see, according to the Lewis structure, there is a lone pair electron. So, ethyl amine. So, if you increase another CH2 group, that should be propyl amine. So, amine depends on what? Amino group. And this is amino group. NH2 is the amino group. Now, you see aldehyde. Aldehyde is what? Aldehyde is bond CHO. CH O. So if we write that R C double bond O H, 
CHO. So if you see that, the number of electrons is two pairs because we have an idea that oxygen it has six valence electron is outside. So CHO. So if we write this H CHO, the first member of alkyl group, this is called methyl aldehyde. Or we can say this is methanol. So after that we pronounce L or aldehyde directly. The number of carbon depends. So if you write that CH3, CH2, OH, it comes ethanol. Sorry, it's CHO. Now I say it's propanel or propyl aldehyde because the number of carbon is 3. Your number of carbon is 1. So we say this is methanol, methanol, and this is propanel because prop that is carbon 3 so we have 3 carbon it's not about the naming of organic compounds I'm just giving you an idea that we understand if we see there is CHO this is aldehyde if we see there is OH it's alcohol there is a lot of studies after I mean if we study only alcohol it requires several hours to explain but this is a basic class I mean those are studying right now very at the beginning level I'm just giving you the beginning level of idea so we know CHO is aldehyde OH is alcohol similarly ketone that is CO so if we say both side alkyl group alkyl group CO is the functional group of what ketone group so if we see CO this is ketone so depending on what depending on this C double bond O R so similarly like before it has 1 2 3 4 2 lone pairs of electron so if I write like that CH3 CO CH3 so we can count that number of carbon in this compound is 3 so we can say after the name of ketone group it should be own so number of three carbon so it would be propanone butanone ketone i'll definitely discuss each and every single whole series after because it's a long video series i don't know that till how much i can go but i will definitely try to start from the beginning and then gradually i'll develop the advanced level of organic chemistry this is the first versions of the lectures I mean this is the uh, fifth lecture and then after the sixth would be the naming of organic compounds and then after alkene naming, alkene naming, alcohol naming like that carboxylic acid what is this in case of carboxylic acid is about C double O H so what should be the process in case of this R R C oxygen oxygen and hydrogen so now you see that number of electron is raised two pairs of electron here is also two pairs of electron and this is carboxylic acid so whenever we see c double o h it means it's carboxylic acid or fatty acid so we can say h c double o h it has single carbon so it names like methanoic acid or formic acid even we can say that is CH3 oh if you say like that uh, CH3 C double H now you see we have two carbon so now we can say this is ethanoic acid amide amide it's called R CO NH2 CO and H2 that means amide means alkyl group ketone and amino group together forms amide group so in case of that we can say that R C O N H2 and you see the number of electrons is rest here one pair and here two pairs so this is amide group and last of all that is nitrile so nitrile is actually 
actually are cm cm so what would be the, the things that in case of lewis structure are c triple bond nitrogen and the number of electrons is raised here is this okay nitro so simply what we just learned very short tutorial i'm just giving it to free at first now you see closely that functional group i've just written very simple and primary uh, right up to, to in front of you you see the number of carbon so i hope you know it till how much you can go number one to 12 i have written meth eth pro but pent hex hept oct non deck undeck and dodeck and you see this is the homologous group now you can go following the functional group and the number of carbon differs so carbon carbon single bond is methane i mean alkene double bond ethene i mean alkene triple bond alkyne alcohol haloalkene amino group aldehyde ketone fatty acid amide amino only nh2 amide cohnh2 and nitrile is cn so short lecture simple lecture and i hope you know it if you have anything to say if you have any uh, comments or any idea to tell me about my lectures do, is it really beneficial for you and i mean is it really helping you let me know i shall be much more happier to have your comments your feedback and that will inspire me to go on the next level so that is a short discussion about functional group and next after I'm coming up with um, the naming of alcohol and then the preparations of this homologous group and this would be a huge lecture series following up I hope uh, after watching each and every tutorials you can understand well about organic chemistry so take care see you on the next video bye